you walk through the halls of high school like they're strutting down a catwalk? Mina Psycho Arigato! Kawaii! Kawaii! Hey, what's up, you guys? I'm Wendy Forever here. Welcome back to GSA Forever. Um, what you don't know, chapter one, last couple paragraphs. After their kiss, the two girls leaned in and French kissed. And although they both made a disgust face, the guys seemed to enjoy the little scene of the girls and maybe some of the girls too, too, secretly. My eyes fell back in the bottle and I closed my eyes in fear this month. My eyelids lifted and just as the bottle stopped moving. I felt a jolt in my stomach whenever, when I looked up and realized why everyone was staring at me. Brian smirked and leaned over to spin the bottle for my partner. So much for being the uh, lucky unchosen one. Chapter 2. Jay's point of view. Chapter 2. Close closet time. Jay's point of view. When the bottle finally stopped, I followed the path from the tip to the person that landed on. My eyes were wide, were guided to a guy sitting there laughing. I don't know why, but it seemed I had uh, to be having the most fun out of anyone here. He had brown hair underneath his green beanie that settled just above his green eyes. When he smiled, I noticed his bright blue brace. That made his bright blue brace, braces that made him smile look even bigger than it already was. I looked over. He looked over at me, and my eyes shot straight down. I had to kiss him. Him? His laughter stopped, but as his jerk continued to burn me, he suddenly stood up and sent something that plunged a knife through my stomach. We're gonna take this to the closet. He he smirked, and the crowd seemed to get extremely pleased. I was grabbed and pulled by my arm by the dude. And he laughed at me, terrified, terrifying in my expression. I, I think he said it's okay, but I don't listen very well. I'm terrified. He shut the door of the closet and let my arm go. I found an excited sigh. Is this kid crazy or something? Ready? He looked at me and smiled. Then he lightly pushed and pushed himself up against the door, rattling a bit. Backing away from the other side of the small closet, I stared at him and he started moving and making sex noise. Hey, little uh, giggle. Can you keep control of himself? Yep, he's crazy. I tried not to smile because this was supposed to be an extremely scary moment for me. I'm just giving them what they want. He gave them more of a smile. I actually smiled back because I realized he was just trying to help me out. I opened my mouth to ask what his name is, but quickly interrupted and saying we should both mess up our hair to make it look like we did a little, so it looked a little more hot. convincing. His laughter as I attempted to smile were drowning my. While dreading my tussle, while tousling my hair, he did the same. Except he had much more fun, swinging the swinging open the closet door and smiled at me and gave me a thumbs up. You guys punched, and the guys punched his arm and the girls giggled. I didn't think I didn't think anyone noticed when I came up behind him and sat back down in the circle. 
The rest of the party was a blur, and mostly the only reason people kept talking to me was about the closet time with Drake. Yeah, that was his name. I made it home, uh, I made a home out of the corner of my eye of the living room walls. I, I, I pulled my knees up and tilted my head back again in the wall, leaning out of sight. The game was absolutely terrible. I found myself thanking fate for signing me up with Drake. At least I didn't actually have to kiss a stranger or do anything more in that case. It was, it was, it was, it was one in the morning and when people finally started leaving. I blinked a few times, realizing I had not to go. I had begun to fall asleep. Once my vision focused, I noticed Drake was still laughing about some joke he was sharing with a couple of the girls and two guys. Hmm. After showing, after slowly rising, I searched for my sisters. One of the girls said, "Hold on, God, I do not have time for this. My camera, my thing is running low, and I'm almost done." Um, once my vision, blah, 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 I just, I start, one of the girl, one of her girlfriends stopped me in the hallway and told her she headed home because she was feeling sick. I asked her if it was alcohol and she just shrugged and looked away. I guess I'm walking home. What do you guys think? Do you think that was a good idea or do you think Drake should have kissed Jay? Tell, let me know. And I will see you guys for chapter three tomorrow. And until next time, gays, okay? Just ask the GSA. Mwah.